Women FC TV with Adam Hinch. We're looking ahead to Avery away in the National League South. Adam, how are you feeling going into it? No, yeah, obviously um, good, uh, good, good performance at home last last game. So yes, um, no new injuries and everything. Clean bill of health. Um, feel there's a bit of togetherness in the squad. Um, lads have trained well this week. So yeah, we're we're, we're looking forward to the game. Um, obviously, Avery. Uh, Done brilliantly the last few years. I think it's back to back promotions, um, and then they're flying high at this level. So, a team and a club that are used to winning games of football. So, um, it's it's not going to be an easy easy task, but um, you know, it's still a good game. It's on 3G surface, and one we'll really look forward to. Soft defeat to them earlier in the season amid a little bit of controversy, shall we say. Uh, but they were obviously a really good outfit on the day. Are you expecting a similar sort of display from them again? No, yeah, the the, the recruitment's brilliant there. They um, you know really recruit well, some good players. Um, you know they've they've done that recently as well. Bought in some good players, so um, recruitment's good. The manager obviously knows his stuff. Um, used to winning games of football, like I say. So yeah, we're sort of under no illusions. Um, you know, it's it's just a tough test. Um, obviously, there's there's teams in this league with um, maybe a bit more of a historic and prestigious name, um, but you know, it doesn't mean nothing. Like we're all playing at the same sort of level, and you know, everybody's going to be a real stern test. Um, we've got, like I say, some really good individuals. Um, Jalen, that we know well at the back, um, can be a colossus, especially um, if he's got a point to prove. Um, so I thought he was excellent at our place. Um, so yeah, we, we're going to have to be the same sort of levels that we've been at uh, of late, um, if not better. So that's, that's our challenge. Yeah, similar outfit to us in that way, where they were a little bit unfancied in this league, got promoted and straight away in the in the playoff picture, which says how impressive uh, job they've done there. No, no, yeah, um, you know, I can't speak highly enough of them. Uh, like I say, the, it's a club that's used to winning, um, a bit like ourselves in, in recent years. So, um, yeah, nothing but um, admiration, admiration for whatever the word is, admiration for the job that they've done there. And, and, and like I say, um, it's a real nice setup. Um, you know, nice, nice stand and good 3G pitch. So uh, there'll be no excuses. And um, yeah, we'll be looking to to build on our recent performances. And uh, looking at ourselves and uh, in the squad in particular, you mentioned no new injuries for us at the moment. And uh, is there anyone coming back into the squad? Uh, yeah, Kane um, will be back from like his work commitments. Uh, so he missed the two games last week. So that's a obviously really good good bonus to to have back. Um, he's been excellent for us, and you know just have that um, leader in in the change room going to a place like Overley is massive. So you know really important on that. Um, so yeah, we're pleased to have him back. Um, we we'll probably allow Brad to to go and get some minutes at uh, Littlehampton, but you know he's a real young player that we've got a lot of. Um, our hopes for ourselves so you know we don't want him too far away from our squad and you know definitely want to try and get him get him involved and get him minutes uh, between now and the end of the season. And to mention the young guys you were full of praise with Oli Starkey uh, last Saturday and Finn's obviously been in the team a lot what have you made of those boys and how they've kicked on a little bit as the season's gone? Oh yes yeah, it's just, um, <clears throat> what we try to aspire to do uh, you know we've got a youth set up and one that we believe in and you know, it's, it's, we had four players from that um, that were in and around the, the squad and, and getting minutes um, against Torquay at home. So, in front of over two thousand people. So, you know, um, really pleased um, with, with all of them how they're getting on. Still, obviously, you know, they're developing. Uh, they're eighteen, nineteen years old. A bit like Josh, the goalkeeper come here to develop um, so there's still going to be mistakes and they're not the finished article um, but you know there's some real talented lads uh, within our ranks and you know the, the more minutes they get um, I think the better they will come as well.